Welcome to Tech Brothers Dame. In this video, we are going to learn how to add column names to data frame and also check a scheme of a data frame. We'll be using a function to df that will return a new data frame that with the new specified column name. In the previous videos, we have seen that we have added the data to the data frame from tuples and the column names were defined. In this example, we will be adding the data without column names and then add the column names later. Now, also we would like to get the schema of the data frame. We'll be using a print schema function to get that information. It will display us the column names. It will also display us the data types. And also it will let us know if the null values are allowed or not. So let's go to demo and take a look here. I have defined an array of data. Here we have four values. And this is our array called data. Now we would like to create the data frame. To create the data frame, you will say df, you can provide any data frame name that you would like. In my case, I'm keeping it simple to df data frame. And uh, you will uh, then uh, is equal to spark dot create data frame and then provide the array. So that's uh, what it is going to do. It is going to take this array and convert to the data frame df. And now once it's converted, we would like to see what is in the data frame. We will see df dot show that will show the data frame. Let's execute this and then we'll take a look on the output. Okay, our Spark job is running right now and now it should be completing quickly. And finally, we have our output. We have a underscore one, that's column name, underscore two and underscore three. So we have ID values here and name and age. I knew this values, what I have put it here, but there are no column names available for this data. So I would like to add those column names here. I'm gonna leave this one as is the data frame and it will show us this when we run this whole cell, it's gonna show us this output first and then the formatted output after using to df function. To df function is used to rename the columns of the data frame that we already know. And it is commonly used after creating the data frame. So as we have already created the data frame, so we don't have to create the data frame again. And then now we will say this, I'm going to uncomment this part. So df is equal to then again, take that same data, uh, data frame df dot to df. So we give this uh, function and then provide the list of the columns. In my case, I know that the very first column is ID, second name is name. And then we have age right here. So I put ID, name and age here. And now if I will display the data frame again, what's going to happen is going to have the column names. So the first data frame when it was created, there was no column names. And by using 2df, we added the names to it. So let's execute the entire code. We are going to see two outputs, one for this one without columns and the one with this with the columns. So let's take a look. Right here we see the output without columns where we have not defined the column names and here we have the output with the nicely column names. So we have ID, name and age. Now what we can do, we also can combine them together and here instead of creating the data frame first and then applying to df in separate row here, we could have done the same thing in this one. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna just uh, comment this part and now I'm going to uncomment this part. So we uncomment this and then this and combining create data frame and to df in one step what you will do is so you will say df spark dot create frame and then provide the array uh, of your data you have defined on top and then uh, say to df and provide the list of the columns so it will be doing everything in one row now you can see the data frame after that so we are going to execute now and it should show us two outputs one with the out column names and this is coming from this part right here and then we have this one this will be showing right here that's the output so we handle everything in single row so we did the created the data frame also added the name uh, column names to it. Now, if we want to check the schema of uh, this data frame, what uh, we can do, there is a function called the uh, print schema and uh, that uh, we already know what it does. It will give us a schema of that uh, uh, data frame. So we, if we say df dot uh, print schema is going to show us the schema. So let's execute the entire thing one more time and uh, go from there. Okay. So we have to remove this part. Let me see. 
one second. So df, now it should be good. Uh, last execution failed, that's fine. I'm going to execute again. So you see these uh, two outputs are coming um, for the data frame sh dot show and this is a this is a, a last output we are seeing right there. So it's a start with the root and then uh, it has the column names. Uh, so ID, name and uh, uh, you have age and then it's telling us the ID is long, uh, name is string and age is long and they, they are all are nullable. Now if I would uh, apply the same uh, print schema before the adding the column that will do the same thing but it will not show us uh, the list of the columns. Uh, it will show uh, underscore one underscore two underscore three. So I'm putting when uh, I just created a data frame I did not add the columns and let's take a look. See right there. So you see that underscore one, underscore two, underscore three. So still it shows you the data type of those columns that you have, but they are not well formatted and you don't have column names there. So it's a, it's a good idea. You can always add the column names to the data frame and then work on it. And also once you add that we were going to take a look like if you have data frame ready with the column name if you don't want to get select all the columns and all that you can ignore some of them because by knowing which column to add or remove it's easy in when they have column names. I thank you very much for watching this video. I will put the script in the description as well. Thank you very much and please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and I will see you guys in the next video.